Hi guys, in this session I'm going to share about how depth first search or DFS works. Let's have a quick look what DFS says here. DFS is an algorithm for traversing or searching a finite graph data structure. Basically, DFS works well with finite graph because if you try with um, infinite graph, it may get stuck in a single path, so the exploration won't be good. It will be always in a single path. DFS search starts from the root and explores as far as possible along each brand before backtracking, as I mentioned. It will be, you know, going in depth in the search for the search. So here I mean the root node, basically, it can be any node which you can choose from the graph. So next, DFS uses his tag to remember to get the next vertex to start a search when a dead end occurs in any iteration. So basically we do use stack to achieve this particular DFS algorithms that we'll see down the line. In this slide, we are going to see what all the three major thumb rules for this uh, depth first search algorithm. Also, we try to visualize that through animation as well. First, let us start with the rules. Rule one, visit the adjacent unvisited vertex, mark it as visited, display it, push it in a stack. Rule two, if no adjacent vertex is found, pop up your vertex from the stack. It also will pop up all the vertices from the stack which do not have adjacent vertices. Rule three, repeat rule one and rule two until the stack is empty. Okay, now let us try to apply these three rules on this graph along with this tag and try to visualize how it looks, looks like. So here in this graph, so I have represent uh, vertex in blue color, that means unvisited. <clears throat> and uh, this graph is director graph. We can see the edges, which directing to certain nodes, so it is director graph as well. So in any search, we have a search, basically we have to choose a starting node to start this traverse or search process. So here let us start from starting node A. Yeah. So I have choose choose ESR starting node. So when we so we when when we choose and first we visit, uh, we push that into stack as well. So basically, when the stack is empty, also it means there is no more uh, vertexes or vertices to uh, process, and the top element in the stack is what the one which we are currently you know, working on always. So here top node is A, so we are now at, at present we are working on A. So from A, let us see the rules which will apply for A. So from A, if you look at rule one, visit the adjacent unvisited vertex. So here we have to check whether any unvisited vertex or vertices are available. So if you see it has three unvisited vertices, so B, C, D, so now, as per rule one, mark it as visited. So first node, we will make it as, you know, visited. So first node we have is B. So B just make it as visited. So we are pushing that into stack as well. So now from B, we again try to see which rule it apply. It can be applied. So again, rule one can be applied because it have, it has adjacent and visited vertices. So so we can apply the rule. So E is now visited. So we can see in our first section as well. I'm just uh, putting that in sequence and it is in our queue as well. Sorry, stack as well. So from E, now if you look at the rules, again, rule one can be applied because it has an unvisited vertex. So we visit H. So from H, if you look at, there is no further uh, vertex or vertices. So let us see which rule it can be applied. So rule two says if no adjacent vertex is found, pop up the vertex from the stack. So H doesn't have any other adjacent vertex. So we just need to pop up that from the Q, sorry, stack. So let us pop up. So basically when pop up happened, we are just backtracking the path which we traveled. So, so now we are at E as per the uh, stack. So from E, we are checking any other adjacent vertex, so there is no, then again, we can apply the rule two. And from B, we are checking any other adjacent, yeah, we have uh, unvisited vertex F, 
So we are just visiting it as per rule one. And web does not have any other adjacent web tag. So we are backtracking as per rule two. And B also doesn't have any other web tag. So we are visited already, so it doesn't have any more. So we are again backtracking to A. So in our stack, if you look at, we have a single vertex, that is A. So we are now working on A as well. So from A, if you look at, we have two unvisited vertex. So we just visit as, uh, C as per rule one. So now from C, we don't have any other adjacent vertex. So we can apply rule two and we do backtrack. And from A, now again, we see any other adjacent, yeah, D, we have D. So now we can visit D as per rule one. So D has one uh, unvisited node. So as per rule one, we can visit it. And we have one adjacent node, but has already been visited. So we try to see, but it's already visited, so we can't, we don't need to visit again, so, or we don't need to push it into stack as well. So we are just backtracking. Just, we are just holding in G, and then again, we are checking any other notice or vertex is there with unvisited. So no other vertex from G, so we are backtracking. So when we do backtrack, uh, we can see that it's getting popped up from stack. So now D, D also getting popped, and we are at A now. So from A, uh, it's starting which we have started, right? So when, from A, if, when we pop that, there is no other more other vertex, so we are just popping that as well. So now we look at stack. That stack doesn't have any other vertex. That means, means that there is no other node to travel. So it means that we have completely visited all the, you know, connector vertices. Next, let us go through the Sudoku for DFS algorithm along with our previous animation. So let us see the pseudocode. So DFS is a function name and uh, G comma B are the parameters or arguments. So G basically represent the whole graph and we represent the starting node. So into the function, first label V has discovered and then for all edges from V to W in G adjacent edges of V. So basically we are iterating the adjacent of V. And for every node in that iteration, we are checking. If vertex W is not labeled as discovered, then we are again, we recursively call the DFS function along with the same graph. And W means whichever the recently you know, picked vertex. So let us see this same uh, pseudo code with our example. So in our case, first we choose A as our starting node. So now here we will carry A and then we are just labeling V as discovered, right? So we are just uh, saying this is a discovered or visited. And then we are just calling, we are doing this iteration for all edges from W to W, sorry, V to W in G comma adjacent edges of V. So basically we are iterating the child's of this A. So there's not just in what activities we are just iterating. So here in the first iteration what we are going to visit is B. So so here you are checking if vertex W is not labeled as discovered then we are calling DFS right again. So basically this is where the first rule we are applying. If not discovered again what we are going to do we are saying that we are calling this function. This function again, what it does, it will bring BSV and label that as a discover. So that means we just say this is discover. And then again, we are calling the for loop. So from B, we are just searching the adjacent. So again, first we are having E in the iteration. So here we are checking whether W. That means W carries C here, so W is not labeled a discoverer. Then this again the rule one, so of course it is not basically discovered. So again we are just recursively calling the DFS along with graph and W. W carries here E. So when this time when this, so here again, so he, when it comes here E will be discovered. So that means visitor, so we are just saying visitor. Again the follow loop happens here. So that just a node here we have H. 
so here that also not visitor as per rule so when we apply rule one so we have to visit so again we are calling dfs so here w will carry h and then we are discovering here h so in next again here what happened in this uh, iteration h doesn't have any other adjacent vertices so so there is no adjacent vertices so what happens the backtrack happens so this is where the rule two come to picture so now what happens the backtrack happens so backtrack when it happens so it would be so previously call it goes right so in ye again we don't have any other adjacent vertex so we are going back b so b b were in the loop so b has one more adjacent vertex so f so now we have we'll be checking that whether it be discovered or not not discovered then again we are calling that you know in the re recursive so now we visited f so now again we are checking uh, any other edges are there no edges so we are backtracking for b we are checking any other edges in the for loop again there is no then we are going back so like that yeah we have two other adjacent so with the same rule you know the nitration we apply that so that what we do we visit all the vertices as we did still the stack is empty so that means when the stack is empty that means the records you call all are done right so also outputs are you know showing that all things are visited so next i think i've done with this thank you for watching